Good morning group two and I just want to do an activity to look at weighing scales um, so you can see similar to the other day this weighing scales but you can see this time it goes up to 100 and you can see these intervals here these big intervals they go up in tens and then in between halfway in between so that green interval there What's half of 10? 5. So that would be 5, 10, 15, 20. And then in between, what would they? What would the value of each interval be? There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So how many 10s are in 10? So that would be 1, wouldn't it? So let's have a look at using these scales. So if I put, there, I've just put a weight on, and there we go. So we can see that's 50, can't we? Um, let me take, let me have a look. What am I going to do here? Um, so let me add a, another 10 on, so we can see it's got heavier. And then if I add 5 on, we can see that would be what? 65. What about if I added 2? What would that be? And then if I did 1, what would the total weight be? So we're assuming these, well, probably grams. So grams are really light, kilograms, quite heavy. So it's like if I had a pen, we would measure that in grams. Probably be around about 30 grams. If I had a bottle of water, um, if it was full, we'd measure that in kilograms. It's a lot heavier. So quite straightforward there. But what about if I change this? So this time it says interval two. And here you can see there is one, two, three, four, five digits from zero to ten. So I'm asking is how many fives are in 10? Five, 10, there's two. So the value of each interval would be two. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. So let me just clear these. Okay, so you can see at the moment is, what would be the weight of these items? Eight. You could write that down on a board or just shout at the screen, but don't shout too loudly. Neighbours will be wondering what's going on. How about if I added some more weight? What would that be now? 22. 20 add 2. How many more grams would I need to get to 30? I'm on 22. I'll need 8 more grams, wouldn't I, to get to 30. 2, 4, 6. Oh, it won't click anymore for me. Add 5 and add 1. Okay. Um, what if I added... What would be the weight now? 80, and I need to add 2, so that would be 82. So I've just changed my weighing scales here, so you can see it now goes all the way up to 500. It's on 50, so 50 there. What's halfway between 0 and 50? Well, half of 40 is 20, and half of 10 is 5, so 20 at 5 is 25. So that would be 25. So what if I added, um, let's have a look, so if I added that weight, what would be the weight of these items? So actually each one of these, the value is 5, so that would be 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. 
And then how much more do I need to get to 100? I'm adding fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And what about if I went all the way up to 1,000? So there's 1,000 grams in one kilogram. And if I added, boosh, a big weight of 500, we can see straight away there is 500. Count up in 100, 600, 700, 800, and we carry on up to 1,000. So it's really important that we remember there is 1,000 grams in one kilogram. And half a 1,000 is 500. So 500 grams is the same as half a kilogram. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just move on to today's worksheets.